I'm too lazy to write anything on this, but we're just gonna ignore that. Hi everyone, welcome back. Apologies for wearing the same shirt for the past three videos. Actually, sorry, not sorry. I think it's like 35 degrees today, so I'm just gonna miss my face. <laughs> All right, if you haven't read the title, today I am going through my makeup project pan. I'm gonna start with the items that I finished and then I'm gonna move on to my collection currently and what I swapped out and whatnot. So items that I finished, I finished the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance primer and the strobe cream i wouldn't repurchase these i've actually gone through a lot of primers recently and i don't notice enough of a difference except for the benefit professional because it blows your pores that's the only type of primer i actually like using and i'm actually out of the professional i only have this tiny little bottle that i'm saving <laughs> wouldn't repurchase plus max ridiculously expensive so pass on those this is a body shop item i purchased a while ago on a whim and it's the illuminating drops of glow now i hate this i tried to use it it smells straight up like chlorine or like super glue i don't know why and it does nothing. It's almost transparent. It barely has any glow to it. And the smell just puts me off. It just smells really minerally. That and it's really hard to actually get the product out. I feel like the droppers doesn't work too well and the product's too thick. So I'm just decluttering this one. I hate it. <laughs> oh, another primer. Um, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. At the start, I said I really did like this, and now that I've finished it, I just don't know how I feel about it. Like I said before, don't really know if primers make that much of a difference, and I probably won't be repurchasing it because of the price. There's no- I almost feel like there's no point. <laughs> Didn't see any difference in my foundation's wearability, and I feel like it's just another thing you slap on your face that doesn't really make a difference. So yeah. There was actually a nail polish I'm getting rid of. Um, as you can probably see, it's very dry. This was a really nice colour. It's the Revlon in 185 Lilac. They probably don't make this anymore. But this particular shade is really flattering on me. Um, I actually tried to get away with it. I put nail polish remover in it. Didn't do anything to help the formula and doesn't work. It's time to let go. And that's a whole other thing. I, s I have quite a few nail polishes in my collection. I don't really paint my nails that often anymore. So I was thinking, you know, if I do get the time, I'll just paint my nails. And if, if I feel like on the spot, the nail polish isn't good, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Cause what's the point of having something that doesn't work properly, you know, just lying around. So final three products that I'm finishing or getting rid of. The Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade three. I really liked this. I felt like it's just getting really dry and I tried to, you know, savor it, but it's just so gross. It's got my hairs in it and everything. So time to let go. I do have a very mini version of this lying somewhere. I'm saving that for when I use my other brow gel, which I'll show later. Also the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. This is a eyelash primer, it's brown. And I noticed that when I did it before mascara, my eyelashes were very sticky, so that's not a good thing. I did try to use it as a brow gel, but it just thickened my brows, which is not really what I want. So getting rid of that. And I did film a full face of OXX Studio makeup. The eyebrow tint, the OXX Studio, I Studio eyebrow tint was horrible. It made my eyebrows flake and it's just very goopy gluey consistency it's just very unusable which honestly i did expect one or two dud products in that video so wasn't too mad could have saved my money otherwise but at least you guys know now hey guys just thought i'd also add in that i am putting in this mac brow gel that i actually found cleaning my vanity it's in the shade neanderthal <laughs> it's in the shade neanderthal um Guys, apparently my brow shade is just Neanderthal-like. Anyway, I have dipped into this a bit. I did just apply it and the formula seems okay. It is a little too intense. Like, my brows are already bowed. So I just used it to do, like, a little wing for my brow. Liked it. So I'm going to add it into my project pan. And I don't expect to finish this or anything it's just something i might as well throw in because i own it and i should use it 
let's move on to the products in my collection. Just an honourable mention, this Evelyn Rose hand cream I'm currently going through, it's almost done. So probably in the next video that'll be in my empties. Now this is my Australis Magnetic Palette. So this is a banana powder and this is a contour powder from the AC Ontour Palette from Australis. I do really like this banana powder but I set it with a setting spray so it's not really budging at all. So I do plan on trying to crush it up and buying some isopropyl alcohol to set it. There's videos on it on YouTube but I do want to crush that up and press it again so that I can get some use out of it. My Colourpop highlighter has made a huge dint in. It used to be just this little pan, now it's this whole mess to be honest. Um, I have been loving that product. The brow powder, not too much of a difference. This Sephora eyeshadow I haven't been using. I might actually implement that soon. This ID Potted, it's the Total Intensity eyeshadow and a bit of a dint in it. And this one, I this was in my palette to begin with and I don't know where it's from, where it came from, but I have occasionally used this as a highlight. So that's that. It looks like a mess. Um, I've been circling palettes around and I do see myself soon swapping out an eyeshadow palette because I do feel like it's a little bit repetitive. The Moonchild palette I've barely used, to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. Um, so that's what it looks like there. I might insert some photos as I show the products but it is a lot of effort and I don't know if you guys care enough to keep up but if you just watch my videos as the progress goes I guess you can see on camera how it's going. And then two other eyeshadow palettes I've just been circling through the Ciate L London Pretty Fun and Fearless. This is what it looks like now. It just looks so much more messy just because I've been digging in. Um, I've been using these brown shades a lot and these glitters. I don't honestly expect to hit pan on any eyeshadows this year unless I stuck to one and just kept using it over and over. Um, this Crush Cosmetics palette, I tried to... Oh, actually, since this one always falls out, I might as well just put that one in here. <laughs> of course, it's not magnetic. So yeah, I'm going to put that in there because it just is a nuisance. I'm going to put some blue tack and just stick it down. My palette always came like that. That one just always popped out. I tried to take this one out and it smashed, um, but that's what that looks like. I did dig in a lot with these glitter shades, but otherwise it's pretty much looking the same. I do not see myself ever finishing this, but I think the most convenient thing for me to do is to try and take some of the pans out and putting it in a magnetic palette. It's just so annoying to access such a big palette. I wish I learned that earlier. Now I'm gonna quickly zoom through all these products. So the primer I'm using now is the Nude by Nature Airbrush Mineral Primer. This isn't very moisturizing so I just want to use this get it over with. My NYX blotting powder I've made so much progress on. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if I want to crush the powder up and repress it because I have so many in my collection. I feel like once it gets harder to use, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't know if it's just a waste of time trying to completely finish up a product when I just get over it. The NYC bronzer, I've been using this all the time and I feel like I've barely made a dent. My goal is to at least to try to get the sun to disappear but it is very orangey i'm wearing it as my eyeshadow right now but as a bronzer i feel like it is very orange so i might swap this out for something else who knows but i just really want to keep using it and try to you know get more use out of it my nars blush and highlight i've actually made a very decent dint the highlight not so much but yeah i'm actually impressed with that this clinique lip balm is everlasting. It's going to take me forever to get through this. I did cut it open because it's getting really hard to squeeze out, which is a good thing. That means we're making progress. I'm wearing it right now. And with this Nivea lip balm, what I actually did, instead of getting a piece of paper to mark the progress of a product, I've just marked it on the lid. So if I do this, I've made no progress. <laughs> Then I introduced a new concealer. This is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02. This is way too light on me, so I mix it with my Maybelline. And my Maybelline, so from that line, I've made that much progress, which is pretty good. My Ordinary Foundations. This is the same foundation, just different colours. And you can't really see the progress, but 
it has gone down quite a bit. It is annoying because you have to shake it so it disturbs the line but yeah that's the progress that was two months of progress I feel like I'm going nowhere with it. The more I use it the more I realize that it is very high coverage and I only need like one pump for my whole face as opposed to I used to put like four pumps so it is harder to get through when it's so high coverage. I also added this crop concealer pencil and how I'm measuring it. How am I measuring it? So I'm measuring it by the lid and I feel like I'm not really a fan of this. I just gonna use it to outline my brows and I feel like once it gets hard to put in the lid I'm just gonna throw it out. My MAC paint pot in soft ochre I'm actually considering decluttering because it's getting really dry as you can see it's separating from the pan and it, it's just very I don't see it doing much of a difference in my eyeshadow and it makes my eyeshadow skip so it actually makes it harder for me to use my eyeshadow in the first place. As I just thought I'd also mention quickly. I swear I'm almost done. The soft ochre paint pot, I did a little test on my hand because I swear I swore that it just wasn't doing anything for my eyeshadow, right? Look at this. This is really interesting. So at the top it's without the soft ochre paint pot and at the bottom it's with. I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel like the pink eyeshadow on the top... <laughs> I'm wrong. I feel like the pink eyeshadow at the top is more of a vibrant pink compared to the one on the bottom used with the paint pot. I also feel like the tone of the paint pot is incorrect for my complexion. So the highlight shade on the bottom is really muddled. And overall, I can't really see a difference other than somehow it turned the pink eyeshadow into a shimmer. I swear it's not mixed with the other one, but you can see there's like a bit of a sheen. So I honestly might get rid of this bad boy only because it just makes my eyeshadow skip. It doesn't really do anything for the wear of my eyeshadow. Either way, I just use concealer or foundation on my eyelid and then it's pretty much good to go. So it's just an unnecessary extra step that I feel like getting rid of in my routine. So, yeah. So, if I do get rid of that one, I'm gonna just use my Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coat in bronze. So, it looks like this. And I haven't used much of this, but I do really like it. It's a really nice effect. So, I'd rather use that than that base. And honestly, I just use concealer as my eyeshadow base anyway. Brow gel I'm using is the Essence Brow Gel. I really love this. The only thing I don't like is when you start using it, it's so wet. Like, the littlest gel goes the longest way so yeah i've gone through probably four of these in my lifetime i absolutely love it yeah my elf pencil how am i measuring this oh yeah measuring by the lid haven't really used too much i don't really sharpen it that often so not surprising and for brow pencil i'm using the model co instant brows and i think it's either broken or it's almost done i really love this product but the spoolie broke off and just really dodgy, but I do love the product. Mascaras are still going strong. I'm using the Tarda Slash Paint and the MAC False Lashes. I'm just going to keep using these until they get dry. But I am wearing the Tarte one right now, and I like it. Yeah, and then I've got my Mecca Max Setting Spray. And my Models Prefer Setting Spray, which, ooh, I've made quite progress on. So... That, that's where I was November, that's where I am now. I normally use this just to wet my sponge because I'm lazy. And then this Hawaiian sunscreen, I'm just like zooming at the moment, I'm sorry for too fast. But this Hawaiian sunscreen, the 50 plus SPF, I don't like using it on my face anymore, the scent is too strong. So I'm just going to try and use this as a body sunscreen. I read the instructions, that it's a face and body sunscreen, which I don't feel very comfortable with. So I'm going to try and use this this summer, you know. On my body that's pretty much it i just have a lip pencil that i got from kmart a long time ago and i actually do really like this and i do have a backup and this nyx lip cream which i've had for ages and it's very dry so i feel like i could finish this soon final one this is the face of australia hd brows and it just goes to show how long these products take to use up I did hit pan years ago. Those two are my favorite. Don't really use that one too much. But yeah, I just thought I would bring that into my pan. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and most likely in my next one I'll be swapping out some eyeshadow palettes just so I'm not neglecting all my other ones. Yeah, oh, and I forgot. I finished my MAC Fix Plus, which is kind of sad and I did repurchase a mini one. But yeah, I really love this. Made my skin dewy and I recommend this one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it was very satisfying to... Overall, these are like all the products I've finished up skincare makeup wise and it's very satisfying to see stuff go. So hope I inspire you guys to do the same and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I wasn't sure if I was meant to include this in my skincare or my makeup project plan, but this is never ending. I think this will literally, it might take me at least a few months to finish this. I try to slather this on every night or whenever I can and the formula is great. It smells like mango, but it's so fluorescent orange. It's so unwearable and I bought it for $26, so I don't want to throw it out. And I want it to be a lesson to myself that you know, don't buy things on a whim because most of the time I don't even end up liking them. So, yeah. Also, this chung is for good luck.